Hello guys, it's me Prince from HT Tech and today I got an awesome video for you guys. If you haven't seen the title already, it's an overview video and it's going to be about the Seagate Backup Plus 1TB external hard drive. Uh, I have the USB 3 model, uh, so I hope you guys like the video, so let's get into the unboxing and review. Okay guys, so you can see we have the Seagate Backup Plus 1TB USB 3 Portable Laptop External Hard Drive. It's an easy portable backup for your digital life, which is what their slogan is for the products. As you can see, it works on both PC and Mac. It works XP and higher on Windows, and it OS X 10.6 and higher on Mac. The device functions very easily, but we'll go into its usability later in the review. Uh, but it has some cool features like the fact that it's plug and play and also the fact that it has uh, social media backup so you can save all your Facebook photos to this device. Also if you get the Mac version you would get a Thunderbolt cable versus a USB 3 cable with this and also if you need to you can buy a Firewire 800 adapter sold separately though. So here when you open the box you'll notice you get the product manual you get a warranty slip of paper, you get the external hard drive itself, and a USB 3 cable, which here's some quick B-roll footage of, but we'll go into a bit more detail about the cable a bit later. Here's the manual in a packaging straight out of the box. I don't really need it, so I tossed it to the side, but if you need it, I suggest you read it. Here's some B-roll footage, and now I'm going to lead you guys into the best part of an unboxing video. Okay, so here's some B-roll footage of what the drive will look like on your desk or laptop. Now let's get into the review. Okay guys, so let's get into the review section of this video. Uh, just to tell you guys, since this is a uh, just a regular external hard drive, this isn't going to go too in-depth in the review uh, of a review. So it's going to be pretty quick because if you've seen one external hard drive, you've probably seen them all. There's not many differences, differences except for a few with this device. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to bring up are the pros and I'll go to the cons. A pro for the device is the design. It's very aesthetically pleasing and it looks, and looks awesome. If you look at the back, I'll start with the back and move to the cooler stuff as I go along. On the back, you can see a matte black appearance which is pretty cool. And on the lining on the outside rims, you get a glossy plastic. And on the very front, you get the coolest part I think which is the uh, plastic piece that actually is imitation brushed metal. It looks pretty cool. I'm just assuming it's plastic just by the way it feels and sounds. And also the price point is not going to be real brushed metal. But it's pretty cool that they included this little design. And it makes it look a bit more classy. classy and it looks like something I would actually be okay with having on my desk. So that's the first pro and the next pro I'm going to bring up is the fact that it's very, it's its size. It's very small and portable and compact. For the data you can store on this, which is, this is the one terabyte model, which means I can get about, you get actually about 930 gigabytes, about 28 gigabytes is taken up for other stuff like formatting of the drive and all that, but you get 930 gigabytes on this device, one terabyte pretty much. It's really awesome, and I'll give you a quick little comparison to my HTC One. If you notice, the external hard drive is actually shorter than my HTC One, which is pretty cool and it's not going to be too huge. Uh, Width-wise, you can tell, yeah, it's just a bit, the external hard drive is a bit uh, longer, thick, wider, and thicker, it is slightly thicker, but that's not a huge difference, and it's still very pocketable. Uh, if I needed to, I could store it in my pocket and take like a trip or something, it wouldn't be the most comfortable thing, and it won't. You, people will tell like, "Hey, there may be something in your pockets," but it still works. And if you're taking it and you don't have any more space someplace, 
Uh, if you have it in your pocket, just store it there or something. If you're going in a plane, and I'm not sure if you'll be allowed to, but if you need to, you can store it in a pocket or even in a laptop case. It's not too huge, and it's quite low profile, so it's great if you're going to be traveling a lot with this device. And now jumping from the main pros, uh, actually one more pro is that there's multiple different formats of this device. There's both a Mac and a Windows based version, so they're clearly thinking that you guys may need other types of operating systems to run this device. And they also realize that not everybody uses either Thunderbolt if you buy the Mac version, or uh, USB 3 if you're buying the US version. There's also, the, uh, you can purchase from them or online a Firewire 800 cable and use that for this device, which is pretty cool. And that's just some cool things about the device. Oh yeah, one last thing about this device is it does back up your Facebook photos if you would like to set that up. It comes preloaded with actually a few files, a few videos in multiple different languages that show you how to set up the device, which is awesome that they realize not everybody knows how to use one, which I'm surprised if you wouldn't be able to use one, but you most likely can use one already, but it comes with a video and it comes with software to download your Facebook photos to the device. Now, the con really is mainly one major issue, and that's the cable. If you haven't noticed, the cable is only about 18 inches long, which for most uh, people is too short. For me personally, it is definitely too short. Uh, if I'm going to be using this, I'm probably not going to have it, like I said, front and center. I may have it tucked away somewhere, but it will work well. And for the cable, the only, if, with the only drawback being the cable length, which is something that can be easily mitigate, um, that can be easily fixed by just buying a longer cable. It's a great device. I'd recommend this to pretty much anybody, especially if you're somebody who's going to take the device on the go with you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, click the links down below. Check out my Twitter, my Facebook, my Google Plus, and also my YouTube channel. Please like uh, again. I'm saying please subscribe. Helps me out a bunch. So it's been me, signing out. See you guys in the next video.